Last May, I graduated from high school and I'm now in college. I've been there for about two months going on three. And as a Christian, I realized that I was not prepared for what I was going to be exposed to. The first thing that I realized about being a Christian in college is that it is super, super easy to drift apart from God. When I say there are distractions in college, I mean there are distractions in college. And then you got to pair that with school, which leaves you basically no time to do anything. And plus, if you're like me, you're going to have to get a job to support for yourself. So you're balancing your school life, your social life, and a job all at the same time. And, you know, that basically takes away all of your time. So when you're in that position, you're probably going to push God to the back burner and not make time for him because you feel like you have no time. So I had to learn and I'm continuing to learn the skill of time management. You have to set your priorities straight and you have to keep them straight as well. That's going to help you put time into everything that you want to put time in. And you know, that means God. I'm talking about God because if you don't do that, you will slack. And I learned that the hard way. The second thing that I learned about college is that it is super secular. I mean, to a point where I was literally shocked, especially coming from a faith based high school, I was not expecting college to be this secular. Welcome to the first day of class. I'm an atheist. And by the end of this course, you will be an atheist too. Class dismissed. What I learned is to make sure you always keep your guard up like 1 Peter 5.8 tells you. Because if you don't, you'll find yourself slowly beginning to become more secular. The third thing that I realized about being a Christian in college is that you're going to be an outcast. There's going to be so many parties going on that you choose not to go to. There's going to be drinking that's going on that you choose not to partake in. There's going to be girls wanting to mess around with you that you choose not to mess around with because of your faith. And people are going to think you're weird for that. I want to be crystal clear with you here. I went to a couple parties. I thought it'd be fun. And temporarily, I mean, sure, it was. But God convicted me. He really convicted me. And he showed me that that stuff is pointless. That stuff, it's not important. What's important is following him and staying in his will even when you don't feel like it. Remember, everything done apart from God is pointless. So my advice for you is when you feel like an outcast or when you feel lonely because you don't go to a party or you don't go mess around with that girl, remember that you don't live this life for them. You don't live this life for Johnny or the frat boy that sits beside you. You don't live this life for yourself. You don't live this life for your own pleasure. No, you live this life for God. The fourth thing that I realized about being a Christian in college is that who you surround yourself with is extremely important. If you surround yourself with the wrong types of people, then you've already messed up. It's just like 1 Corinthians 15, 33 says. And just to clarify here, I am not saying that having non-Christian friends is bad. But I am saying that if you spend all your time with non-Christian friends, they will start to rub off on you. There is a chance that you could pull them up, but more times than not, they will pull you down. So my advice for you here is to pick wisely who you spend your time with and also to get involved with the Christian groups on campus. That's going to be super, super important for you in college. And the last thing that I realized is that temptation is literally everywhere. I mean, it's pretty obvious. So I'm not going to elaborate much on this one. Just go to the biggest local university's football game and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Being a Christian in college, especially a secular one, is not easy at all. And there is a lot of bad, but there's also a lot of good as well. Now is the time to go explore yourself, find your passions and dive into them. Find God's will for your life and dive into that. College is fun. Make sure to enjoy it and always remember to seek God's will for your life 
first. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're a Christian in high school, I made a series on how to survive high school as a Christian. So I'll link that series, link that series somewhere around me. So definitely check that out.